Hey, folks, um, I know y'all can see the title of this one up at the top. This is another case of hypocrisy at its finest. The nerve, the audacity of this bird. Now, look, I know y'all going, oh, but Nick, they done it in front of her kids and this and they busted her up good. Look at my face. Look, look, look. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. That that that's my face. So that that ought to, that ought to tell you that ought to tell you where I'm at. Look. You run with the dogs. Don't get you. You can't cry when you get scratched up or catch some fleas. When you decide to jump off the porch and run with the pack, sometime you're going to get is you're going to take some bumps and bruises. Stand your ground. See, this is one of them. Let's like say it's all about for me, not for thee. Look at this. Uh, what's this? Oh, boy. St. George, right? Freaking morons. Anyway. Let's go ahead and do it. Prosecute them. Dems who backed efforts to dismantle. Yeah, because she was one of them defund the police things. Shit, uh, shit, Vanny. I mean, excuse me, Shivani. Shivan. <laughs> Santa. Sant. Sat. Han. Nand. Yeah. The second vice chairwoman for the Minnesota Democrat farm democratic farmer labor party anytime when you hear labor party i don't care what you when i hear democrat and labor in the same thing the only thing i see is the clenched fist that's it solidarity solidarity the only thing i know i know uh socialism is being rolled in and communism follows socialism but it is minnesota and it is the Democrat Party. So, I mean, that, and it is a shit. Yeah. So they, they always, they, they, a majority of them is on that, on that uh, bovine feces right there. Anyway, let's get it. Uh, she said in a, in a, uh, in a, a fake book post that she was violently attacked and carjacked Tuesday in front of her two children. Four men allegedly, allegedly, allegedly broke her leg and beat her with their fists and guns in front of her two young chillings at the mini at her Minneapolis home before stealing her car and fleeing the scene. Now I'm quite sure she probably she don't live in the hood. See, because them 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 socialist leaders. Them uh, socialist wolf pack leaders, they don't never live in the hood to the like the people that they preach in solidarity and socialism to. They live, uh, they normally live in the upper crust area. That That's just the way socialism works, boys and girls. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, Santa, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, San Han, yeah who had previously backed efforts to reduce the police force, urged fellow Minneapolis residents to take back their city and prosecute violent criminals in her post following the incident. <laughs> okay. We need to get illegal guns off our streets, catch these young people who are running wild, creating chaos across our city and hold them in custody and prosecute them saying hand wrote yeah sure look y'all's uh, y'all's court system there too is a revolving door who, who are you talking about y'all know y'all know who running the under running the underground of minneapolis right they tend to be dark or asia or, or um or from the land of the sand or or southeast asia the southern tip of asia or a lot of north africa uh, north africans and some uh some inner, uh, inner the center continent, continent Africans too. That's who pretty much runs the street there in the Twin Cities. You can forget that. 
We need to hold them in custody. According to the police report obtained by the uh, Daily Caller News Foundation, she sustained a major injury as well as possible internal injury while another victim was not reported to be injured. I wonder who the other victim was. And three other individuals were listed as witnesses. Officers later found her car abandoned, according to the report. Rebecca, Rebecca Brandon. I have no idea who Rebecca Brandon is. Uh, car jacket. Okay, so she's going to take a picture and post herself. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can get a. I was trying to get a full picture for y'all, but don't look like. Okay. Uh, she had previously backed efforts in 2020 to dismantle the Minneapolis police department. We are going to dismantle the Minneapolis police department. She wrote in 2020 MPD has system systematically failed the black community. They have failed all of us. It's time to build a new infrastructure that works for all communities. If you're still disagreeing with that basic fact, I'm not sure what to say to you. Well, probably what somebody ought to say to you now is like, how does that, uh, how does that um, dismantled police department, uh, uh, you still carrying that same weight? What y'all want to bet the first person they called was? The police. Oh, wait a minute. Keep reading. Uh, she thanked the Minneapolis police officers who helped her after the carjacking, according to her post. What, 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 uh, why didn't she yell in their face that she, you know, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm trying to get you defunded, right? Y'all know that defund the police stuff is just a political ploy for people uh, running for office, right? You know, they still plan on having the police protect them, right? Whatever police is left. You know that, right? Okay. So, uh, uh, she and the Minneapolis Police Department did not immediately respond to the Daily Caller's News Foundation's request for comment. You already know what they saying, man. F this heifer. You know they are. I know, I know they are. I know cops. I know plenty of them. Anyway. Karma sometimes comes, come, sometimes it comes pretty damn hard. Sometimes it's just a love tap. Sometimes it's a freight train. In this case, she's somewhere in between because she ain't, she ain't uh, laying in a hospital with tubes and hoses running up to her and a EK and beep, beep, beep. So it wasn't quite a freight train. So she got ran over by a Volkswagen. Let's put it there. Y'all be good and be safe. Bye.